Uncle Wellman there. Commenter, the matter has become urgent. I have just received information that we have only five days in which to act. Well, I came to tell you, Commissaris, that uh, Jean Bradley has arrived. Has the information been planted? I have the idea. Haven't we met before? Ah, oh, you probably confused me with that Gene Bradley guy. You know, the movie fella. Happens all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it does. <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Cotton. Astrid will bring you a coffee. Thanks, Astrid. I was expecting to meet your partner. Care for a cigarette? No, thanks. Too bad for you. I have no partner. You don't have no partner. What, you got him hiding under the rug, maybe? Huh? How was that? Joke, joke, joke. Harry Venner. Harry Venner? Mena! I've never heard of this man. I'll show you a cigar pack. No, thanks. Ah, thanks, Osprey. You know, you surprised me, Musselman. Surprise is mutual, Mr. Cotton. No, I know I wasn't misinformed, but you and Harry Ben are in the same line of business. I'm an exporter importer, Mr. Cotton, specializing in electronics. You go a little heavy on uh, hardware, right? How's that? Boom, boom. <laughs> I'm in the market for automatic small arms, uh, 40 and 75 millimeter cannon, explosives, and uh, armor piercing shells. I deal in electronics. So does Harry. Mr. Cotton, there is no point in going on with this meeting. You sure? You know, I've got a lot of money to spend. A couple of million. You have been grossly misinformed. Yes? Astrid, would you mind showing Mr. Cotton out? I can find my way out, Astrid. Thanks. I'll see you, Musselman. Hey, taxi! was Jean Bradley, no doubt. Absolutely no doubt. Hello, Harry. I just had a visit from a film star, Jean Bradley.
Rick Benner. How did Musselman react? Cool. Mm -hmm. Genuine? Well, he said he never heard of him. But. But. Right on. Quite sure. Oh, quite, quite. So obviously, Musselman didn't take the arms back to you. Oh, no, he was very offended. And you being Mr. Cotton, did he swallow that, do you think? No, he knew right from the start. Made sure of that. You know, play the part. Excellent. And now I'm on my way to getting myself killed, right? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, not yet? No, I imagine that, uh, Benner's gonna need a little more provocation. He is? Mm, I don't think he'd be winkled out that easily. Winkled out? Really? Do I detect a note of sarcasm? Yeah. All right. Well, now, there's a barge owner. He's carried for Venna, illegally, of course. Name of Van der Velden. Van der Velden. Have I played my part well? Have I done just as you wanted me to? And you know this Van der Velden very well, right? You can count me out. Gene Bradley. You're late. I'm sorry, Harry. I couldn't forget it. Now, oh, business. What makes you so sure this man who calls himself Cotton is Gene Bradley? This. What does it mean? Good question. Yes, Monet? Uh, how do you leave our belief? Yeah. One thing's certain. You did right to keep your mouth shut. What is this game he's playing? Maybe he's playing for a team. What about our contract? Three days, and the delivery will be on its way. Three days can be a long time. You know where Bradley's staying. Keep an eye open. We uh, make a hit? It'd be a great loss. He's such a vivid artist. Vandervelden reacted all right. I had to throw him in the canal. Well, and then? Oh, and I had him show me around the barge, and they landed me. Mm. You must have been very persuasive. I was. I think that should do the trick, Harry. I wouldn't be surprised. From now on, You'll be the target. Haven't you ever seen my fancy footwork? Surely we must hit him now. It's becoming a very painful thorn. He must be plucked. But I'm reluctant. Oh, Harry. Yes, yes, I know. He has charisma, this man. I like his films. But Harry, the... Shut up a moment. Let me sort out the pieces. Now, this is what we do. Firm, but humane. You give me your word that if I do this, he'll come to no harm? But I already told you he would not. Your word? Have I ever deceived you? No, but if something... Astrid, Astrid. I give you my solemn undertaking that he will be untouched. A warning. That's all he's getting. A warning.
You have my word. Hello. My name is Margaret. I would very much like to meet you, Mr. Bradley. If that's possible, in the flesh. Well, your voice is lovely. Does the flesh match it? Are you intrigued enough to find out, Mr. Bradley? Well, you just about talked me into it. Where, when, and how? I shall be in the Bacchus Taverna, in the Beister, at three. Goodbye, Mr. Bradley. Hello. Hello. Bacchus Tavern at three. You look grave, Astrid. Don't you trust me? Careful. The orders were just to scare him. People are going to start talking if we keep meeting this way. Oh, Jane, um, I should quite understand if you took that plane. Well, now you're trying to get rid of me. Well, we can't have atomic shells flying around. Well, after all, I agreed to help you, and I'm going the whole way. Well, that's the way it is. Why didn't he take it? Why did he have to be so foolish? He's had his chance. He has only himself to blame. It's been very sad to talk about it. But we have no alternative, Harry. I know. Jean Bradley. Eliminate. It's very, very regrettable. Absolutely essential. Jean? Now, this is an admirer of yours, Harry Venner. I think it's time we stopped playing around, had a heart to heart. I'm no admirer of yours, Harry. I don't yield to bully boys. Oh, don't be that way, Jean. I could have had you run down, remember? And you should have. I've made up my mind to go after you. I'm going to do it. Well, I see no problem. Nothing we can't discuss, but we've got to meet. I have a proposition I think you'll go along with. Are you still there, Jean? You're going to think I'm out of my head. We meet in the open. Just you and me. No tricks either way. I give you my word.
right, Jan. You get one more chance to redeem yourself. By necessity, it will be a more difficult assignment. The next time Minear Bradley leaves his hotel, you hit him. You understand? All right, Astrid. Why do you want to see me? It's... Uh, I don't know. You're being watched. Perhaps I was seen. I don't know. I came to warn you. Warn me? You're the girl who followed me to meet her at the back of Taverna, aren't you? You didn't show. Maybe you thought better of it. Maybe I had a premonition that I'd be the victim of some reckless driving. Is that it? No. That's not so. You're more lovely than that wooden horse that those Trojans used. What about that purse? How do I know you don't have a 3-2 stuck in it waiting for a chance to take a pop at me? The next time you leave the hotel, they are going to kill you. Which means I should go out back way. That'd make it easy for them to knock me off, wouldn't it? You have to trust me, Jean. You must believe me. The track record showing. It's a little shaky. Is that a kiss for the condemned man? Get yourself killed. I take it easy. You just caught it. You can't blame me for being cynical. I want to talk to you. You just sit down. Your boss, Willett Musselman, is a front man for Harry Venner. I've never met this man. Well, he's a shark. He deals in destruction. Destruction of men, women, kids. Right now, he's in possession of six atomic shells. And we figure that he's shipping them out tomorrow, the next day, to South America. A military coup. Do you realize its implications? This morning, he made a call to a ship in the West Dock. Do you know its name? The ship's the Ariel, moored in the West Dock. Sailing for Rio tomorrow. Rio? That sounds likely, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, do you think we should chance our arm and uh, inform the authorities and move in? Oh, I think I should pay it a visit, check it out. I wouldn't want to blow our chances. Commissaris, I think the time has come to act. No, what can I do for you, Senor Bradley? <laughs> when I woke up this morning, if I had guessed out of the blue, Gene Bradley? <laughs> I mean, it's funny, you know? Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. You want to come with me to Rio? Rio. I wish I could. Uh, life gets a little complicated sometimes. I'm involved in some business. Ah, business. You want a drink? No, no thanks. I want some information. Information? There's a man, an exporter, by the name of Willett Musselman. Do you know him? Oh, yes, as a matter of fact, some freight of his was put aboard earlier today. What was the shipment, can you tell me? Well, if it's really important to you. It is. Uh, I'm, I'm doing some research. Well, I don't see why it should be a secret. Computers. Computers? How many? Six. But what's so important about them? I haven't figured it out yet. Look. It's Bradley. Get him.
programmed to kill.